Hello, welcome again to NX Progressive Dai uh, tutorial. So, in this session, I would like to show you about uh, how to start the Progressive Dai project. So, I already open in here this simulation project that I already use uh, already uh, create before, already create before, and I will use this as the starting part for the NX progressive die now to start I will use this one initial project but before I start with this initial project something I should uh, share to you uh, the prerequisite so the first thing you should do in order to activate this progressive die wizard tab and all the feature available you must uh, first uh, copy the library and then after you copy the library into the NX uh, installation folder you must uh, go to system properties advanced uh, create new environment in here system uh, I'm sorry script new system variable in here uh, the variable name will be PDI wizard directory and then you variable value is where the library you copy and also make sure that uh, in your license also supporting NX progressive die you can check in your own NX license is it supporting or not okay now I will go to initial uh, project so a progressive die project always uh, start by go to go to the menu initial uh, project okay in this uh, menu you will define will with sheet metal but will be inserted in progressive die and all the the thickness also will be read by the NX and also the unit metric the part material also and after that you can click OK automatically NX will create the project files Okay, let's get started. Initialize project. All the files will be kept in this uh, folder. So this folder actually same like this part uh, where I save this part also. The part material, part thickness automatically automatically NX uh, check the thickness 1.5. Okay the material SPCCSD I click OK now you see this is the final product that gonna be at the target you can see in here the Z uh, direction positive Z direction is going to this direction same with the bending and this gonna be very important when you want to uh, define the blank layout face this stage so when you click this surface it means that the upper die will be this side the lower in this side so when you want to form this part like this one Z the punch will be from this side and the die in this side so it means that when I go to blank generator tools I must select the surface in and see the Z uh, direction so the upper part uh, the, I mean the upper surface okay now NX creates this assembly uh, tree after I click initialize project so in here when I click save all and if I want to close and then reopen I must find the project console file so this is the main file for the assembly to this uh, project okay so it means that if I want to close I close this part and then I want to open what I need to looking is the project console do not open the other part if you want to open the progressive die project you must open this project console
okay so after this I will go to blank generator now in this blank generator I can create I can edit but I will use import blank part the sheet metal part is break place this is the sheet metal part now I will import I will import the blank you can see in here from this simulation the blank is the last one the final eight so in the uh, previous uh, video I already show you how to create this uh, simulation and this final eight is the flat one in here there's no feature in here except the shape so I will use this final eight now in here the final eight maybe I will give you uh, no, the details okay open now this is the final eight now it will asking select a stationary face as I already mentioned before please be careful in stage this is one of the critical uh, stage please attention in Z a direction the bending will be in this z positive Z direction so it means when I click in this uh, in this uh, face in the opposite from the uh, positive in here will be in this side will be upper die in here gonna be lower die so I will click stationary face click OK let's go to the tree in here you can see the project control this is the dice and this is the product so in here it means that the NX progressive die will be split will split all the all the assembly into two main assembly the die and the product when I go to this file so this is the upper die the lower die and the product okay if I hide the upper die so you can see this is the upper die and all the tools the forming tools the piercing tools you can see and the bending tools so all this uh, part will become in the assembly of the die and meanwhile in the strip simulation also on the scrap everything in here as you can see uh, the moving part in here it gonna be on the assembly uh, I mean on the in here in the product pack in here okay so you can see if I click all all the shape will be overlap the final product eight the bracket top place everything and also the nesting the final eight everything so it will be show okay so the most important part is you must understand the first about the basic uh, rule inside the NX uh, progressive die okay maybe just a little bit I want to explain because actually the we can see in here an I symbol is a few uh, a, a manager it gonna be useful later after you create the die base uh, it will split based on the other category the, the dice and the product also okay now after this after this after this finish I want to After this, I want to show you about the next step is to create blank layout. 
so this is the blank layout nx automatically will uh, give the best blank layout based on the material utilization so in here we have 53 percent but it's too narrow from one part to another it will be not good because maybe when you want to add some kind of tools in here it will be overlap the tool so i will increase maybe 150 it will reduce the material utilization so in here we have only 51 percent it means that uh, 51 percent will become the useful part and the rest 49 percent will become the scrap and you will be wasted okay so you can play with this pitch and maybe you can play with the rotate also now you can also add more blank or you can copy blank click ok you can get two more blank okay so in here you can experiment by by your own move blank I just only need one go to create layout you can experiment with more uh, blank what I mean is here you can see I have two different uh, component but because it have a same thickness I can combine uh, blank for this and blank for this the main rule is you must have same thickness because it's using a same sheet metal meanwhile sheet metal have same thickness okay so if I agree with this blank layout with material utilization 51% I click okay 